Hey guys, it's Jake's Tutorials, and today I'll be telling you how to make a simple animated, um, for this example, I'll be using a stick figure, so an animated stick figure, um, he, slash she, it's a stick figure, so stick figure will be kind of sliding down a hill, whatever you want to call it, and I just made this tutorial, and it was 11 minutes, so I'm going to try to make it 10 or less, so I'm going to get... <clears throat> I'm going to get right into this. So what you want to do is go into Adobe Flash. I have CS3 on my laptop. And so you want to go into File, New, Action Script 2.0. And you want to, um, I'm just going to close out of any of the other, any other projects. And what you're going to do is click on this onion skin. And I'll explain more what that is when I can. Right now, I can't really explain it. So now you're just going to push B or whatever you want to do to create a a the background. I'm just going to create a little line, I guess. And you want to make it go down, and you want to make it come back, so it kind of um, it kind of comes together with the whole with the whole image, so it makes a square. And you want to do that so that you can paint bucket it, whatever you want to do. Um, let me find the color. So there. And that's good for right there. Now what you want to do is create the stick figure. So push B or pencil would be V, whatever you want. And I like zooming in. And so before drawing anything, you want to insert a layer, or you can go into time insert timeline layer, your choice, but I like just this insert layer. And so layer two is going to be the character. So you can double click on this. And so double click on the layer, and then that will be BG. So I guess I'll just kind of make it smaller. And so now you know what your layers are going to be. So you can make as many layers as you want. Just make a new layer for the whatever you're adding so it doesn't all get messed up. It's kind of like Photoshop. You want to create a new layer so every time you're doing something, if you mess up, you can just delete it, delete the layer. So I'm just going to start from um, right here. Make sure your character layer is selected. And I am going to use black. I'm just going to make this black too, actually. Or actually, no, no, I won't. I'll just keep it green. And you're going to make the stick figure. Okay? So n now you've made the stick figure or the character, whatever it is. Next, what you, well, what you want to do is push F7. And that's going to create this. Now, that's basically your frame. And it's not going to be there, just that's what it looks like, your previous frame. And so if you don't want, if you really don't care about this, you just want to deselect onion skin and you won't be able to see it. You'll just make random things. But if you want to see your previous frame, you want to select that so you can kind of angle it better. And that's what I like doing, but it's totally your choice. And so I'm going to go back. And once you've created the frame, you want to just make as many new frames as you want. Now, a lot of tutorial people have said to make, to select these and right click and insert frame. I like creating my frames as I go along. It's your choice. So again, F7 is to create a new frame. So that is um, that's basically all you need to know for this and for this part. So I'm just going to hurry up and create new frames. So it's not going to be very good, as you might be able to tell. Now, usually you want to create a new frame for each movement. But I'm just going to be... I'm going to kind of spread it out. So, 
if you don't want to watch this part, you can just skip it. But I'm just going to make them on screen. And you know what? I'm just going to move it a little down. And I'm just going to start making circles because that's a lot easier. Maybe it'll start rolling. And whoops. Control Z is to revert what you just messed up. If you did mess up, by the way. So I know that's not completely on the ground. Oh, whoops. So F7. You want to make sure every new drawing is a new frame, though. And then for the last one, I'm just going to create the, the stick figure. And there it is. And there's the X, whatever. And so I'm going to zoom out and play it for you. What you want to do is either go into Control, Play, or you can easily just push Enter. And that's what it's going to do. It's going to move the stick figure, it's going to roll down, and it's going to show you that X. Now, if you go into File, and you can save it, so you can save it as a FLA or a FOSH 8 document, whichever one you have. And or I would recommend saving it though. Or you can export it as a movie. So you can either export it as an, um, a movie or a animated picture. For this um, example, I'm going to be doing an AVI because I think you know how to do the PNG. You just name it. So name five there, and you type and you push PNG, and it'll create an animated PNG that you can open up with the browser or just any program. So, and you can view it as a picture, send it to a friend, upload it to Image Shack, whatever. So I'm going to use AVI, and that's going to be my name five. Save. Okay. And quality, best quality. You can mess around with it, any of the compressors, and the key frames for every second or whatever. You can mess around with that, and yeah. So I'm just gonna keep it at the best. Push OK, and if you minimize this, you should see that you have your ABI wherever you saved it to, and you can double click it, and it should open it. And that is your your animated thing. So I uh, hope you liked it. That's you can also add sound, which I will show you in a more advanced tutorial. And so you can mess around with it unless you want to request a tutorial, which I will do. So if you want to see that again, it looks pretty nice actually. If I pause it, you can see that um, what this turned to be is now a this. It's kind of like a hill. And so that's what I was saying about creating it all together instead of just a line. So it looks pretty nice, actually. So I don't know if you can see that, but it looks it looks pretty nice. It's not my best work, obviously. But it's not bad. So if you like this tutorial, please comment, rate, subscribe. And before I end this tutorial, I'd like to say that I contacted some companies so I can do some reviews on items. I'm not going to say which items because I do not know if they will accept the free advertising that I offered them. So if you would like me to contact some companies about um, certain items, you can comment below or PM me, private message me, and I'll be happy to contact them. And I'm gonna I will review them or and or give away them. So that's gonna be my next big thing. And I'm hoping for you to partner by the end of February. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen, but I'm really aiming for that. I've been getting over over twelve thousand views a week. I only need twenty thousand, so please help me get there subscribe and I hope you like this tutorial please comment rate subscribe and I hope to make some more soon